Sharon Osborne, 70, color coordinated with her rarely seen daughter Amy, 39, with the pair seen in matching cardigans and black ballet flats. The mother and daughter duo were shopping for luxury goods at Neiman Marcus in Beverly Hills on Thursday. Amy opted out of the spotlight and did not appear on The Osbournes, which ran for four seasons from 2002. She told Rolling Stones in 2015, I don't think I will ever cross-contaminate my private life and my family life with my public and professional worlds. For me, nothing's more important than having a very clear boundary between the two. That's just part of who I am. For all the latest news, politics, sports, and showbiz from the USA, go to Daily Express US. Michael J. Fox's wife still his rock through major setbacks and success Sharon's outing comes as the former X Factor judge opened up about her lifelong weight loss journey which involved gastroclaf band surgery in 1999. To lose weight in recent years Sharon has used the injectable drug Ozempic that everybody takes, which helped her to shed 30 pounds in three months. Sharon confessed on Club Random with Bill Maher, For me, the first week was effing s because you just throw up all the time and you feel so nauseous. After a couple of weeks, it goes and then you're just fine. You're just not hungry. Taylor Swift's ex BFF Carly Kloss parties night away at Singer's final LA show, latest, meet Taylor Russell, Harry Styles' rumored new actress girlfriend, Insight, can you guess this adorable Kardashian celebrating their birthday? Birthday, Sharon claimed her stomach shrinks and you change permanently after taking the semaglutide injectable. Ozempic. Bagovi, Ribelsis, Manjaro, and Victoza should only be prescribed to severely overweight patients suffering from type 2 diabetes. The drug has however been overprescribed, leading to shortages with several celebrities admitting to using Ozempic. This includes Elon Musk, Amy Schumer, Chelsea Handler, and Cheryl Underwood. Sharon's husband of 41 years Ozzy Osbourne has been battling Parkinson's since 2019 and recently admitted he had been suffering from blood clots on his legs. He said on Sirius XM, I'm battling through it. For instance last Monday, I went to have a filter removed because I had blood clots in my legs. They put a filter in your artery to stop the blood clots going to your heart and your brain. It sounds worse than it is. So, on Monday, I went to have it removed. The blood clots have jammed you all up. So, they put a thing down there in my neck, straight down to my groin, 